Excuse me. All right, out with it. What's your game? I hope I haven't offended you again. Offended? Hardly. I'm just trying to figure you out. You're not the military type. You're a loner. So I can't figure out why you're sticking around. You got what you wanted, so why don't you hit the road? The Brotherhood might be the best chance I'll ever have to find my son. Well, as far as reasons go, that's a pretty good one. <sighs> Look, I'm gonna cut you some slack because Dance trusts you. But if you step out of line and put any of my brothers or sisters in danger, I'll make sure you regret it. So, ready for your assignment, hero? What's your problem? My problem is I can't figure you out. You come from out of the blue, take down a few ferals, and suddenly you're all buddy-buddy with Paladin Dance. I don't know if you're serious about being a part of the Brotherhood, or you're just biding your time until you find whatever it is you're looking for. Either way, until you tuck a few of these assignments under your belt, I'm gonna be keeping my eye on you. Now, you ready to go or what? Ready. Then listen up. Like it or not, one of our most important duties is to keep the Commonwealth clear of the trash. I'm talking about mutants, ghouls, synths. The abominations the damn eggheads caused when they started playing with their toys. This op is simple. I'm gonna send you to a target, and you're gonna terminate everything that calls it home. All the details you need are right here. Don't come back until the job's done. Paladin Dance. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Why did the Brotherhood send it here in the first place? I'm not sure. But I think it might have something to do with the data on the Commonwealth my team gathered before it arrived. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going to war. Who's Elder Maxon? Maxon is the commander of this division of the Brotherhood of Steel. He's the model of what every Brotherhood soldier hopes to become. If we're going to war, I can promise you that he'll be leading the charge. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. Let's get this caravan moving. That's Minigun in front of you, loaded and ready to fire. Did you spot 
spot anything hostile during the flight. I suggest you put it to good use. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps and fire on the locals. Commonwealth looks different from up here, doesn't it? It never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're gonna need that edge when we take on the Institute. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Crazy or real tough to survive out here. Please Excuse me, Paladin Dance. Me. There's Lancer Captain Kells. Follow me. Permission to come aboard, sir? Permission granted. And welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I feel promoted him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request. Place the recruit at your charge. Thank you, sir. And my current orders? You are to remain on the Pridley and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorian, Captain. Ad Victorian, Paladin. So, you're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. Looks can be deceiving. Which is precisely why I personally insist on scrutinizing every recruit who boards this vessel. I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. 
As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now, soldier. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Can you tell me anything about Elder Maxon? Elder Maxon is the Supreme Commander of the Brotherhood. Without his tenacity and his vision, we'd still be a small group of complacent stragglers occupying the Citadel in the Capital Wasteland. In a mere decade, he's grown the Brotherhood of Steel into a major military force. He's an inspiration to us all. Is there anything else? Where can I get power armor? Only knights are allowed to wear Brotherhood power armor. And you're no knight. Not yet. Until Elder Maxon grants you that title, you'll have to make do with what you've got. Anything else? What are my orders? Your orders are to proceed to Elder Maxon's address, after which he wishes to speak with you. Anything else? I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, Initiate. Heh, <laughs> hardly. Welcome aboard. Elder Maxon is holding his address inside the command deck. Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished this amazing feat without a hint of purpose or direction. And most impressively, without question. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and our beneath the Commonwealth. There is a cancer, known as the Institute. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are experimenting with dangerous technologies that could prove to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Synth. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly, and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy, itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Have you ever fired a minigun? Chews through ferals like paper. I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. I can see that. They're playing with fire and we need to save them. Exactly. I just hope we're here in time. I refuse to allow the mistakes of the past to be repeated. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, You've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear it with pride. I'll do my best to live up to it. I'm certain that you will. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Make us proud.
Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Congratulations on the promotion, Knight. Dr. Ingram said she needed this suit tested yesterday. Yeah, I get it. Just, what if I miss? Don't. Okay, sure. Firing. Everything holding together? Trust me, you'd know. Good. Uh, firing. All right, all right. Everything looks nominal. And you didn't scuttle the ship. Thanks, Initiate. Sure. Anytime. There. Try it now. Nothing. I was supposed to report ten minutes ago. Hey, old knight. You can't fix it. I can fix it. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. <clears throat> Got it. There it is. Thanks, brother. I owe you. So how did it look out there? We've got a lot of work ahead of us, brother. Maxon might appear compassionate, but I can assure you, the Institute will face when it his comes wrath. to keeping the Bridwin running, Proctor Ingram's the best. Dance? There you are. How did it go with Elder Maxon? Maxon seems so young compared to everyone else. You're okay with that? Don't let his age fool you. Maxon's a brilliant tactician, a formidable warrior, and possesses an idealistic vision for the future of the Brotherhood. I'd follow him anywhere, without question. Why are you so confident in his abilities? A decade ago, the Brotherhood had almost gone completely astray. The Elder before Maxim sent us down a path that was leading nowhere. He was more concerned about charity than the preservation of technology. But when Maxim took over, he single-handedly reprioritized the Brotherhood from the ground up and put us back on the path to glory. This ship and its crew are a testament to his leadership. He's a very dedicated man. It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. I won't let you down, Dance. I promise. Good. Now, 
I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. You can come with me or wait until I'm done. It's up to you. In that case, I prefer to tag along. If you change your mind, just let me know. I've served on this vessel for years. It's the only home I know. Can't talk right now. Gotta clean the Mirelark scat off my boots. Don't despair, brother. We're here to save the Commonwealth. So? You're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. Sounds like you're disappointed. I'm not disappointed, just surprised. You don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. Is this where I get my power armor? Ha! <laughs> That's always the first question from the new guys. Let's see... I just fixed up a pretty decent T-60 suit. The left leg actuator's a bit sticky, but it'll keep the creeps off of you. It's sitting in Bay 3. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. I understand. Good. Anyway, if you need any work done on your power armor, feel free to use the workshops around here. Now if you'll excuse me, I need to get back to work. believe synths are replacing humans with exact duplicates? Makes me sick. The last person that disobeyed Captain Kells ended up scraping rust off the Pridwin's hull. From the outside. Time to suit up. If you're looking for ammunition or weapon mods, Dr. Tegan might have what you need. Step forward, Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Why are you in there? I'm glad you asked. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. Wait, buy them? Since when does the military sell equipment to its own soldiers? Since someone dropped a whole bunch of bombs and blew up every single factory that manufactured weapons and ammunition. Keeping the Brotherhood supplied takes caps, and everyone contributes to the cause. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, 
I might have some extra work for you to do. What sort of extra work are we talking about? Oh, no, 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 no. It's nothing like you're thinking. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, a gun, a mod, even ammo, you just let me know. I'll let Maxon's age fool you. He's a brilliant tactician and an experienced soldier. Carry food with you or you'll end up eating some pretty questionable things to stay alive. You need some patching up? Go see Night Captain Kate. Glad you finally stopped by, soldier. Are you ready for your medical exam? Sure. Go right ahead. All right. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? There wasn't that much radiation around before the bombs fell. Before the bombs? What? Let, let me check my notes. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Honestly, I don't remember. Well... You don't appear to be suffering from any long-term ill effects, so I'll assume you haven't. Third question, and please, answer honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Uh, no. Never have. Very well. Last question. Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? That's more of a morals question, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. I feel that the mental state of the crew is just as important as the physical. Anyone that hesitates firing in combat due to misguided moral standards certainly isn't Brotherhood material. So what about you? Would you have a problem with it? If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer, and the most common. Excellent. I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Ah, good. You're finally here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to them as soon as I can. What are you doing with all these books? I suppose I could stop working for a moment to address your question. Which books contain pertinent information? Technical volumes, repair manuals, design philosophies, medical research. Anything that enhances the Brotherhood's knowledge. That's why I consider everything else a waste of paper. Makes sense to get rid of the trash. Well, I'm pleased you agree. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Maxon wanted me to meet the crew, so you were next on my list. Ah, yes. You must be the new recruit described in Paladin Dance's report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. What type of technical documentation are you looking for? The Brotherhood is primarily interested in collecting information that might assist us with our current mission. 
Medical records, science journals, weapon schematics. If it contains any type of useful data... Uh-huh. Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filmed. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Soldier. Challenge. Tighten up the move. Back? No, I'll split the difference. There? No, not back. Do you want to do it? No, no. I think you've almost got it. Yeah, research patrol. That's your captain. Uh, Hell, this is one of the great finest great officers great I've ever had the pleasure of serving on. Guard duty? What? What do you think? Vanguard. You're kidding. Ship it out into the next rotation. That's right. I'll leave a couple of super mutants for you.
You see the last one we tried to pull in with all the grenades? Oh, no, I was out doing my rounds. What about him? Well, Becca pulled him into the front of the store, and everything seemed fine, right? He must have got spooked or something, because he suddenly starts throwing grenades everywhere. What? What did what, you guys do? That's the thing. It turns out they weren't grenades at all. They were just rocks. He was making the sounds with his mouth. Pins being pulled all nine yards. <laughs> Fucking nuts. Did you guys take him out? No, we just stood there. We couldn't believe what we were seeing. After he threw about a half a dozen rocks near the back of the store, he started making machine gun noises and backing toward the door. Once he got outside, it sounded like he pretended to get on a motorcycle. Which, of course, didn't start right away. <laughs> then he took off toward the freeway at what sounded like full throttle, shifting gears and everything. That's insane. How does someone like that survive out here at all? I don't know. There's some lunatics out there. Anything behind. Visual acuity is being reduced to an unacceptable level here. I don't think we've got company.
This place would elicit fear in most individuals. Fortunately, my training prevents... Wait, what was that? Hey, you point. I shoot. Hey, ready. Feel like trading some equipment? Hey. Awaiting your command. Paladin. What's up? Your thoughts? If it was up to me, I'd make it my life's work to wipe these things off the face of the planet. How do you feel about us? I'll inform you when I'm ready to make that kind of determination. That's all for now. Affirmative. Yes. Thing doesn't feel right around here. Seen someone down a drink so quickly. Impressive.
through. several harsh environments, but darkness is always there. This is quite an unusual location.
problem here. Those raiders appear to be blocking our progress. Let's clear them. Negative visual on the target. Mission accomplished. Drop dead already. You never know what you'll find. It's a shame these people have to live in fear. Sheltering in this old stadium when all those perfectly good buildings are still standing outside. 